Leading up to South Korea's presidential election, candidates are going all out to reach voters. The latest efforts making short videos which can give a strong first impression about what they want to say. Yi kyung tells us more. Short, fun, and to the point. Hashtag shorts or short videos on YouTube have become the ultimate campaigning tool for the presidential candidates. They range from less than 30 seconds to around three minutes, and that's all the time the candidates need to get their messages across. The ruling Democratic Party's Lee Jae-myung is the first to hop on the trend. He is releasing a series of witty videos and the one proposing that hair loss treatment should be covered under national health insurance went viral. Meanwhile, the main opposition People Power Party's Yoon Song Yar is going for 59 second skits starring three main actors. Every video starts with the party leader raising a problem, then a policy advisor suggests a solution. And the videos all end with Yoon saying this iconic line. The minor opposition People's Party's An Chol Su makes three minute long lectures on his pledges in a series called Dr. An's Key Points. Experts say this is part of the evolving election campaign, where the focus is shifting from news providers to consumers, who tend to selectively choose information, often from non-conventional media. And COVID-19, in part, has accelerated this change. As people stay home, they are left with more time and more media platforms. So they're like, I don't have much time to spare for you, get to the point. This individual-oriented campaign shows a clear contrast from the past when candidates gathered crowds of tens of thousands of supporters for their campaigns. For voters' benefits, however, some experts say that the candidates should follow up with detailed policies or budget plans so voters can check whether their first impression holds true. Young Arirang News.